guys, and welcome back to part number dose of Let's Speed Build the Modern Capacity uh, Condo Slash Home Thingamajigger for Miss Stella Galaxy on um, the Get to Work LP. So, uh, by the way, I am actually recording this after Stella uh, gave birth, and I am so overly freaking excited um, for the birth of of the you know offspring okay I don't want to give anything away because I'm really 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 horrible at like you know like reentering things or just saying things without giving sheesh away you know what I mean I don't know I'm weird but anyways guys so here we are uh this is actually obviously as you can already tell pretty long part uh we are going in and kind of I'm playing around like a ton a ton a ton uh with the the color palette of the house I just I really wanted it like white I guess, like Stark. I didn't really want um, too much color or too much going on. I wanted a very modern, uh, clean look. If you've noticed, I, I really only go for modern and and very blank homes. I don't know what it is. I just, I don't really, like, in person, like, I really don't like, um, how do I say? I don't, I don't really like light uh, color palettes on anything like everything that I like is usually dark like I typically like dark cars I typically like dark clothes I typically like dark purses makeup blah 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 bada bing you know but I'm kind of lying because my car is white actually so that's that's a lie but typically and I've had two white cars and only one gray car and my car my husband's car which is mine too um is white and my mom's car is white so we have all white cars so what am I even saying subconsciously I like white I like light well, do I like dark? I like dark. I personally like dark. I just, for some reason, everything in my house, my like life is light colored. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, what does that have to do with this? I don't know. Um, anyway, we got like 20 minutes to go, 16 minutes to go. So there's just going to be a whole bunch of blue blue blabber and jibber jabber and stuff like that. But the kitchen, oh my God, this kitchen is so small, but I love it. And my favorite thing to do in the entire universe is to add lighting underneath the cabinets. And that is just something I would want in my like home when I have one. I mean, I live in a town home right now and like you kind of, can't do much of anything to it because they would pretty much take your security deposit away and that's a lot of damn money so we ain't even messing we are, we are not going like like betsy homemaker and and doing you know <laughs> doing some experiments to my house but i definitely want that in my um future home like cabinet lighting and stuff like that i don't know i just like really ambient lighting and you're gonna notice that that's exactly the case like if i could have a townhome I would pretty much say this is it. This is what Jen would pick. Like, yeah, totally. Anyway, you know, obviously Stella, she's young. She this is a first time mother. Um, and I don't know. I felt like because she is an alien and into that extraterrestrial nonsense that, you know, modern fitter. Modern was cool. I was going to actually kind of do a very alien uh, type of home build. But then I don't know. I just decided to and go with this and someone asked me do I um free build or do I like look up stuff on the internet and kind of go off that or like pre-existing layouts and I I have actually gone off of um very loosely gone off of uh pre-existing home layouts like if you go look like at uh, home uh, blueprint plans and things like that yeah I have looked at those a few times and um kind of got inspiration from them but I've never ever like wall for wall copied um or replicated so to speak uh any of those four plans from google this one is specifically was literally just what i had in my head and blah i threw it up and this is what we got as you can see there was so much like especially from the first video there's just so much indecisiveness and i'm actually using custom content for the very first time ever which is crazy because i never use because i've never mm -mm, i've never used custom content ever in the sims 4 uh, for uh, objects or anything like that. And the one thing that was really giving me a freaking hard time was this stupid TV. Like, I couldn't figure out what I liked. And I liked so many things from this custom content set that I wanted to slap them all in in this super duper small space. And I really wanted to make this um, area, like, the focus of the house. Hence why it is or was the uh, icon for this video. Anyway, uh, those big windows are just gorgeous and there's so much light that comes in in the morning and it's beautiful because you can actually see the sun beaming in and it's just, ah, it's so open even though it is a very small 
small place. There's just so much character to it. And I love the way it came out. It's just, I don't know. I'm actually, I always say this in my videos. I'm really proud of this one. Or I'm like really proud of that one. But no, Jen's really proud of this actually. And yes, you will be able to um, download this off of the gallery. Uh, Jen2606. I always say that. Jen2606. I, I usually have the link to my gallery um, in, in the description bar of every video. But yeah, I still get questions. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand why. Why, girl, why? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going in for a rug. I'm going in for the kill. I'm doing it for just a thrill. Song reference there. And I went with this one. I was like, yes, I love this. This is so nice. Like, I'm going in for a very neutral uh, color palette. Gray is black. Beige. White. Just very, very, very neutral. And obviously, what's the word I'm looking for? Modern. That's right, girl. That's right. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to say for, like, a whole another 10 minutes uh, i'm sure i could think of something we'll just jibber jabber blah, 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 blah. i mean some of you really like when i just go off on a go off on a on a tangent here and just start talking about random stuff i don't know do i have anything interesting to tell you any cool stories that have happened to me lately uh you all know about my cat i already told you i feel like a crazy cat lady when i post pictures or talk about him I feel, I seriously feel like that girl on that dating website that's just like, but I just love cats. Like, I feel like anytime you mention your pet, people just automatically go, mmm, you're one of them. You're one of those crazy people. But that's the thing. I love animals. And I've had, oh God, I've had, I've had birds. I've had lizards. I killed my lizard on accident. Big accident. Like, I burned them to death. Uh, it's a long story. It's such a horrible long story. You want to hear it? You want to hear it? how I killed it? Okay. So a long time ago, um, by the way, we're putting it in a toilet. <laughs> a long time ago, when I was like 10, I wanted a lizard. And I, well, I didn't really, it was like impulse. Okay, so I was 10 and I like had a big um, fish tank. Okay, a big old fish tank that obviously did not work out for me. And I decided to get fire belly, I think they're fire, fire belly geckos or fire belly nymphs or fire belly something i don't know some sort of like tiny little lizards so anyways i got two of those and i was so excited I, I was so happy they were really cool they went in water they swam sort of like just a whole bunch of things like that and then one day i, I decided to put them in a smaller like cage like a smaller tank uh just because it was really really hard for me to clean this huge 10 gallon fish tank and they're such small little lizards like if you look them up you'll know exactly what i'm saying they're black and they have fire bellies so anyways i was um filling up this tank and I don't know I was really young 10 I mean god this was like 16 years ago uh and I was filling up this tank with where, where they go in the water and I, I guess I it was really late and I wasn't paying attention which is so sad and it was on in this the faucet in the sink and it was like boiling hot water you know like sometimes if you tap the the sink to the left um or if you I, I mine was like a little lever like you just pull it back and forth like it didn't say how to cold it was just like obviously left hot right it's cold so anyway it was hotter than sin and I didn't realize it the I didn't realize it because they weren't supposed to be they were not supposed to be out of the tank for that long and I don't know I just put them in this poor little tank and they started flailing around and I tried to cool them down but you know just they're so small yeah I cooked them basically it was so freaking sad I cried I've never I just now after like 10 years told my husband um about that story and he's like you never told me about that story why and I'm like because <clears throat> it's sad I'm you know I'm like really I, I really love animals and I, I freaking killed two you know Anyway, it was just really, really, really sad. So that was my experience with lizards. And then I had two cockatiels. I love them. They're so cute. I had a parakeet. <laughs> I had, um, I think I've had like four cats in my lifetime and a dog. So yeah, I mean, my cat now, I love him to death. Like he is such, he has such a personality. He's a Savannah cat, if you didn't know. And he has such like a freaking personality. It's crazy. Like he was so scared to go to the vet. He like literally pissed himself. Like I'm not even kidding. He like pisses himself. Like if he gets that scared, like that's how nervous. And I have pictures on Twitter and Instagram of his eyes. He looks like piss in boots. But anyways, that's just my little bit. If you have any horrible pet stories, people are going to look at this video of a building video and they're going to go, why the hell are people talking about their pets? But tell me your most horrific pet experience but not in like a graphic way like a funny way like you know I had a pet fish and I accidentally you know did this or just tell me your your most funny pet experience it doesn't have to be horrific please don't tell me anything like that like your dog got hit by a car because I'll have a heart attack that's not what I mean you know what I mean 
I think a funny pet story, like anything about your pet, something funny that your pet does or, you know, something funny, pet, funny about your pet fish or, you know, like for instance, I had a betas and one con- con- consistently tried to kill himself. Like that's not funny, but he always did. And I mean, Houdini, he would always go down the tubes of the, the pet filters. And one day he succeeded. He got himself underneath the pet filter and I couldn't get it out. Like there was like a like a pet filter in, the, in his tank, like a, a water filter, a pet filter, yeah. uh, a water filter. And he like always would try to like go down this tube and ugh, eventually, ah, I feel like there's something crawling on me. Eventually he succeeded. So Houdini did his final magic act. But yeah, I don't want to hear any bad, horrible stories, like funny stories. You get what I'm saying. Hopefully. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have come quite a long ways since the beginning. And look at how furnished this place is so far. I am loving the big old painting, and that's Stella's room right there. And I like the way that that came out too. Again, if you guys don't know, we only have like a certain amount of money to spend, so very sparse in some areas. But I really do just like the overall feel of this house. It's very breezy. It's very um, home homey, and I love. It's very homey, but sad. No, I'm just kidding. I just love the lights and and the way that they kind of peer down on on like the the poster and in her little like closet rack. The only thing I don't like is the lights in um. The LED lights, but the windows actually in Violet's room. They're a little, a little weird. They remind me of like, I don't know, like an addict or something. I don't know. An addict, an addict, not an addict, like a drug addict, but like an attic, an attic. Oh my God. I can't say that word. I just realized there's something wrong. Ad- attic, ad- attic, 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 attic. Why does that sound so weird? Am I saying it right? A- attic, like an attic. Oh my God. An addict. I always used to call them addicts. No wonder people would look at me weird. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I, I was staying I was staying in an attic. No. What? Okay, whatever, Jen. Like, there was that word I couldn't say. And I used to not be able to say specific. I used to say, like, sp- sp- specific. Like, I can't even say it now. But, like, I used to, like, in yogurt, I used to say weird. And I don't know. There was a lot of weird words I used to not be able to pronounce. And there's still, like, a lot. Like, prefix. I always say prefix. And it's, I know it's, like, breakfast 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 see then i say it like with a weird accent i don't know what it is i have like a very stiff tongue i can't say certain words like period anyway i don't know i'm loving talking to you guys it's kind of fun like you get to know me a little bit better um and i want to do like more personal videos like in general like i'm thinking of maybe just because i have a beauty channel and it's so like focused on one thing that like sometimes i don't have time to do just that kind of a video and so I want to do maybe like a channel where I give like advice or I do do my makeup tricks or, you know, I do like just kind of like a crock pot of a bunch of crap. Like I'm not doing it to like have it be my, you know, like YouTube thing. You know, I'm just doing it for you guys to get to know me a little better. Kind of like sort of things that makes sense. If you guys are interested in that and you're still listening, then you probably would be interested or not I don't know but yeah I basically want to do like a channel where I'm like doing vlogs maybe possibly I don't know yet because I have a friend I'm not gonna say who she or he is on YouTube um that has had some pretty bad experiences from vlogging and that is always sticking in my head I'm like oh my god you know what if people try to like you know harass me or I don't know or something very important slips out you know and then I got like creepers at my door I don't know I don't think anything like that would ever happen but it's the internet and a lot of things can happen but anyway so yeah just kind of like a channel where I have a lot of cool different little things you know just 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 stuff beauty videos haul videos uh videos with my son just because I don't want to have to have a channel for each individual one of those things and I want you guys to get to know me on just a different level so if you guys are interested in that let me know I mean it's never going to be as frequent as two videos a day here but I mean at least once a week or whatever the case is like it would just be easier if it's just very vague and very sporadic like you know just very I don't know like a personal channel I don't know how to explain it anyways um I hope you get what I'm saying, but we're actually almost done and talking to you guys made this video go by so fast. Uh, just a few little special details that I did to this house was I loved the lights kind of on these like landings because I thought it was just nice to see kind of illuminate and it gives it again this very modern touch. It's a very structured, very structured home and we even go in and add in a little bit of um, landscaping. Not a lot because as you can see, our funds are really, really like really low right now but um I wanted to see if there's something that I could do with this door I just didn't really like it 
like I like the windows and the door to be flush with each other. I don't like the height difference. And then I was going to totally try to line the outside with these um, kind of like block block shrubs. But I realized that, oh my God, they're $160 a piece. I know you guys are probably just looking at that like going, wow. And then I'm like, okay, cheaper alternative, go. Okay, so then we went in with these uh, hedges. And then I was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's boss. I like that. Sure. Obviously, the best way to go ahead and clean up a dead space or just make it look a little more interesting is by adding in some depth, which I do by adding in the paint train tool. And I did like the flower box up there, but again, this is modern, sleek, you know, flower box kind of reminds me of more like, you know, house on the prairie or like farm on the range with the deer and the antelope play something. I don't know. It just reminds me of like farmhouses. I don't know why it just does, but I really like this small little cluster of flowers and, and shrubbery that I added in here. I just think it kind of adds in a little something, something. And I think I well, I really wanted to so bad use that plant, but I, I didn't end up using that plant, obviously. But added in a little plum tree and slapped her on the butt and called her Susie. That's pretty much the modern capacity for Stella Galaxy. And I hope you guys enjoyed the speed build and I hope you enjoyed my chitty chattiness. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And enjoy the pictures at the end of this video. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Give me